Well, shit. let's make some cool stuff. What do you think? Well, I figure you all see me do this enough. I don't need to sit here and show every single step on this. And that son bitch ain't even screwed down all the way. Man, somebody better call the quality control department. Get them on the line. Son of a gun. Oh, there's my buddy Triple Two. I'll be back. Let's see what we got through pasture tunes here. One. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So, it's a 27.2050, 1.072. So what we're measuring right now is the ability for the RF to come in, go down and go through the amplifier, and go out to the dummy load. So basically it's a completely flat response from, shoot. Let's see here. One end of this, we're at. Oh, here. Let's open this up. Span 100 megahertz. So from 1 megahertz all the way out through 53 megahertz, we've got a really good pass through tune. Basically, what we've created is a big giant barrel connector on this amplifier. We don't have numbers yet. Let's see what we got on this amplifier over here. Oh, the coaxial connector is virginal. It's twite. She's twite. Very twite. All right, let's jump over to this one here. Oop. Oh, 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 oh. Going to hole, man. Wrong hole, wrong hole. Okay, there we go. All right, exact same results. So, this is actually a little tiny bit better, like in the hundredth scale. It's 1.67, the other one was 1.067. The other one was 1.067 or 78 or 75. Exact same fairly flat response all the way across the band, which is good, this is what we're looking for. So, yay, at least I got that figured out. Okay, now we proved this on video. They passed that test, which is cool. Now what we can do is we can unplug them. We've taken the coax connections virgin status, taken a virginality away, pop their cherries per se. What we can do is we're gonna put the input tune in play, input tune, um, add the jumper that comes from the combiner to the relay, jumper from combiner to relay and put the output tune in it and we'll drop power wire to the outside which will be four gauge going to Anderson clips so we'll put the we'll put the four gauge on them and uh, put the Anderson clips on them and I found it's easier to do that after I've you know do the do the power wire first and then do the output tune and that kind of stuff after the fact because I need to have this space open to get the four gauge down in here and soldered in well so let's get the power wire on them we are almost done with these it's been a great way to spend my weekend working on these for guys. Uh, I put a post up in the Patreon group about it. They sold almost immediately to guys in Patreon. So, yeah. I mean, not even finished with them and they're done. The guys in the Patreon group down here, www.patreon forward slash bb. They get behind the scenes access to everything. Just saying. Food thought. Power wires. Here we go. Well. Let's turn the uh, power supply on down here. Here we are, boys and girls, at the end of this dog and pony show. Done. Master Builder Class number 48. Over here, we've got ourselves our 1,000-watt slug in peak. 
10,000 on average, 5 watt slug in reverse, back from the bird 10,000 watt dummy load. Up here we've got our D rail 955 and our 5 watt slug in reverse, back from the bird or back between the amplifier and the radio. So we'll start here. Yep, fires off. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Look at this. Hello, one, two. It's a great pass through tune. Let's go down here and show you how much drive we're putting in things. Hello, one, two. <clears throat> that makes coming out of the amplifier. Hello, one, two. Okay. Let's go up here. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two. Flat input tune, flat output tune. Hello, one, two. Okay. Let's go to sideband mode, flip that up, turn the power on the radio to high and sideband. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, audio, one, two. All right. Go back to AM. Let's dem demonstrate sideband delay. Nice, healthy sideband delay, working perfectly. 18 and a half feet worth of coax, tuner radio, an amp, Anderson clips, soldered connections, perfect. All right, let's jump over to the other one. Master Builder class number 49. Put down the off position. Nothing else has changed, so Let's go up here and lock this down. At oh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Same as before. Turning up on. At oh, one, two, one, two, one, two. At oh, one, two, one, two. Same as before. Down and down and down and down. So, let's go over here and let's show you drive, even though nothing's changed. At all, one, two, amp on. At all, one, two, one, two. Back the camera up a little bit. Get amp meter in, in play. Flip the radio over to sideband. Click the amp up on sideband. At oh, one, two, one, two. There's a reason that we suggest that you need a 100 amp power supply to run one of these. At oh, audio. Okay. Sideband delay off. Back to am and down. At oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's it. That's simple. Okay, now to grab its partner in crime, its twin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna squirt some clear on the inside of these things, just a little bit, not a lot, just, just to keep it looking pretty from now until the end of time. And when we come back, we'll have lids on it and we'll wrap this up. Well, that's the end of this song and dance, y'all. It's Sunday evening. I'm going to go in and see what my better half is doing, but I'll box these things up. They're going to go on to their new homes tomorrow. 
Well, so gentlemen, thanks for tuning in and following along. Um, just a little heads up, the videos are going to start slowing down for about a week. I've got, got some really, really, really cool stuff I'm going to go do. And it's all for your guys' benefit, believe it or not. That's all I can say about that. You guys are going to see what's coming. Gentlemen, I'm BBI. From the bottom of my heart, I say thank you for tuning in and following along. And Well, made with the best parts I can find. I'll see you. I appreciate every single one of you. Click, click.